Let's go kill some fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> Turok leans on the frickin' inclines. Okay, what the? I heard a shotgun. Okay, so yeah, there are some random objectives that we have to complete in these levels. Something introduced in this game. Oh, dinosaur! Yeah, bow and arrow. Not the best starting weapon. Also, we can pick up arrows that we yep, use I know. up. Okay, see, so you're watching me. I, I take these, right? They're gone when I pick them up, right? Yep, they're gone. Okay, well, t I guess it would make sense those would go because it is part of our life pool. There's also some spare health on that boat. Do you want to go get it? I'm full. Well, I mean, those are small ones, so they stack above your normal health. Ah, okay. Yep, that old rule in classic FPSs. Alright, so these here are the power cells we need to pick up. So that we can go over here... ...and... ...activate these distress beacons. The unfortunate thing is we can't see the cutscene, so we don't really get any story context for where we're going. Oh well. Uh, let's see... Okay, there's a handgun over here. Oh, I get it too. Also, I have some good news for you, Matt. Yeah. Wait, hold on. There we go. Um, headshots really do count in this game. Good. As in, chances are, if you shoot someone in the head, they will die instantly. Of course, the tricky thing is, is that due to the pistol kind of being its accuracy, you gotta oh, wow. really aim very well. Which is easier said than done when they are constantly moving. Alright, next section. All right, let's get some target practice, because here they come. Yeah, that's pretty inaccurate. Yeah. But hey, long, as long as you're, like, shooting for the head... Oh, yes. Oh, jeez. What? I'll just turning to see this body just roll in front of me. Despite this game's age, I, it, it, it has aged well in terms of the animation and blood and gore effects, I guess you could say. Again, the fact that this was released on a Nintendo console surprises me. Ow. Of course, the the inaccuracy could also be due in part to the fact that they constantly move. This is also the only game I've ever seen where a flashlight is a pickup item. Oh look! Look, Matt! A child! Oh. That's a child? Yeah, that's a child. <laughs> no, Matt, no. We are here to save the child from these horrible... Why? Because it's a child that has been captured by these dinosaurs. We... I hate kids. <laughs> Where Turok saves all, whether he likes it <laughs> and you die. Yeah, I'm not used to the lean stuff. The lean stuff didn't disable when I told it to. You should, yeah, def you should definitely take a second to do that, because that gets I really did, cool. it re-enabled itself when we yeah. started this part of the level. That's weird, that's the first time I've heard about that. <laughs> yeah, it re-enabled itself, so it's kind of weird. That's weird, the blood effects go through the walls. Okay, well, um, I guess while you're doing that, I'll just, uh, say go and save the child. Yeah, go ahead and free the little crotch goblin. <laughs> it's funny you say that. The with the low-resolution textures and models, they kind of do like look, look like little gremlins. Now you know, everyone. If Matt was our savior, he would definitely not save the children. Who the hell I would? Who would I save? To be honest. Child rescue. <laughs> to be fair, you tend to kill more people than you actually save. Well, I'll tell you, I tend to kill bad people. Mm, half the citizens in Deus Ex would disagree with you. My kill count with bad guys still massively outweighs my kill count with civilians. Mm. Moving on. No, that's an indisputable fact. I've killed more bad guys than I have civilians. Oh, what the hell? You just pushed me up here. I didn't know that was yep. a thing. Is your roll thing still going on? Yeah, I turned my back on. I'll get used to it. Oh, you might want to get out your little blade claw for this one. Ah, bitch. Circle strafe, circle strafe. Say hello to everyone's favorite 
fucking enemy. Uh, come on, don't waste your bullets. Oh, we don't have plenty of them around. I don't know. I find it's Are those grenades that thing's throwing? Yeah, they throw grenades. Huh. Yeah, in our case, we gotta get a whole big fucking gun for that. There's a grenade launcher in here? Yeah, there's a grenade launcher in How this How am I interested now? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember anything about Turok 2. I do remember Turok 1, but I do not remember anything about playing Turok 2. Like, none of this is coming back to me. Yeah. Turok 1, though, different story. Oh, Velociraptors. Not as smart as their movie counterparts. But yeah, there are some pretty cool weapons in this game. I mean, hey, one of, one of these weapons is literally a fucking saw that you shoot into enemies' heads, and it'll just that one. drill into them. I remember that one. Yep. I do like the guitar in this. The uh, what? The guitar soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, are you playing? Actually, which version of? Yeah, it is pretty freaking cool. Uh, funnily enough, this actually you can actually switch between the PC yeah, version. Yeah, I have the CD version. The CD ver PC version. Oh, in my case, I'm sticking to the N64. Oh, watch out! Shotgun, hello. Okay, I found a power cell. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Say goodbye to your head, wanker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. It's honestly hard just to beat a sh classic shotgun in games. Shotgun. I mean, double barrel, but eh, what the fuck, it's to rock. <laughs> I'll give this one a pass as well. I, I mean, it's an over-the-top game about an Indian who kills dinosaurs. I mean, <laughs> I mean, just for that, I can let this one pass. Halo, no. Go, what the... What the hell? Um... I found the shotgun. Uh-huh. It's... It's a double barrel. Uh... What? Nope. I, my game just crashed. Nope. What? What happened? No double barrel. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, th th too much, too far, huh? Yeah, because you know Halo is a military shooter. It makes no sense to have something like that. Not to mention also downgrading an already great shotgun. Okay, so there's actually a power cell somewhere in here we need to find. Oh, here it is. I got it. Oh, jeez. Also, good news is friendly fire is off. Distress beacon. Activated. Okay, so we got all the distress beacons. Explosive shotgun shells. Hello. Yeah, you would switch. You would switch to those by pressing R. Because there's no reload in this game. <laughs> <laughs> You're really having fun. <laughs> This is one of those classic shooter games that I really do love. Yeah. That's a series of it. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, when they beep like that, they're basically they about explode, to self-destruct. Yeah. Yep. Self-destructing dinosaurs. Where else other than Turok would you hear that at? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So violent. I love it. Oh, hold on. There's a portal over here. Oh. Health and ammo granted. Health and ammo granted. This is Adon. Uh, she's basically this weird alien chick who's here to help us fight this evil of this game. Nice low poly abs. <laughs> yeah. It's it's even weird when you consider the fact that this game is based off of a comic book. God, I need to find those comics. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We still got hot some ass to kick. Honestly, that's kind of what I kind of I honestly like this game just because the enemies, on top of actually being pretty freaking cool to look at, there's a portal we don't want to go there yet. That they actually constantly stay on the move, which is nice. Oh shit! All right, go interact with the child and child. I'll also pick up. Oh, uh, you're already good. Thank you, My God, that face. <laughs> 
Okay, so blue health icons, those are basically large med packs, and those won't give us health whenever we're already full. The small silver ones, though, those will fill up our health no matter how much we got. Max is 200, I think. Also gotta say, this, this game also has a pretty good soundtrack as well. Alright, what dinosaurs want to get their ass kicked? Because I have a friend. Because a friend of mine is more than happy to oblige, whether it means shoving a grenade up your ass or not. Oh shit! Looks like we have a volunteer behind the water fountain. Again, times like these, I wish we did have like we could get like a Doom 2016 like reboot of this series. Because honestly, this game is just a good example of peak. Arcade FPS from back in the day. Over the top, fast paced action, ridiculous guns. My kind of style. Also, these. Also, these enemies have some of the most over the top death animations. What's this? Oh. So, apparently we need to find these feathers hidden in this level in order to access this. Supposedly it should give us, like, abilities that allow us to traverse certain parts of the level. <laughs> Jesus. Also, the good news is, unlike Deus Ex, despite how rough this mod is, I can actually save it. So, we won't have to, like, pretty much do that painful process of losing all our stuff like we did in the Deus Ex mod. Which kind of sucked, because it made it hard to enjoy some of the more fun moments in that game. Such as, you know, our choices actually reflecting. <laughs> yeah, because you remember when we ki when we killed a biotic bitch. Oh my god, daddy! Come on, it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, yeah, these warp portals here, um, they'll usually take us back to Adon, where she'll refill our stuff. Ah. Okay, there's still more to explore here. I saw another door back here. So another thing we want to look out for is that there are pieces of a larger weapon called the Nuke. Take a guess as to how that one works. Yep. Yep. So pretty much we want to look out for that. Okay, the tech. Checkbow. Okay, so, special thing. That one shoots explosive rounds, as you yeah. just saw. Also, if you press right-click, um, it'll actually bring up a scope that you can use to snipe with. And you can change the magnification by using the uh, X and C key. A bit finicky, but... It's, it's kind of a shame that the first Torok doesn't have a co-op mod, because it is, it is as ludicrous. Okay, so yeah, we can't access that right now because we don't have the necessary ability. Oh, sorry. There's some more arrows right here. Oh, oh we're still being shot at, up there. <clears throat> so, yeah, we can't get there yet. So we'll have to come back here at a later time. So yeah, <laughs> there is a bow and arrow in this game. Not your cup of tea though, huh? Eh. Yeah, bow, bow and arrows are overrated. Extremely. Oh wait, there's, there's a reason my guns rule the world. 